Hi, my name's Mark Waite and welcome to Mark My Words. On this channel, we help people fast track a comeback from a serious life setback. So if you've had a life setback, like a long-term relationship collapse, marriage collapse, financial collapse, hey, welcome to the club. I had both in my case, so um, I know how you feel, kind of. Hey, have you ever wondered how you're going to transition from where you're at today to where you want to be tomorrow? Um, and how long that will take. In my case, when I was going through my hell, I didn't know how I was gonna rebuild. I had no vehicle, no pathway, no framework to help me do it. I was looking for someone or something, a program or a person to help me get out of the pain I was in. Um, but I couldn't find anyone or anything anywhere. You know, someone who was, who'd been through what I was going through and who, had, who could relate and connect and who had come out the other side relatively healthy, you know, in the important areas of life, mentally, physically, financially. Couldn't find that person anywhere. So I, I, I went on the trial and error program. It took me a long time to rebuild. Today I've rebuilt my world, uh, thankfully. Stronger today in all areas of my life, family, f my fitness, my finances, have a heap of fun. But it took a long time to get there and I was looking for someone or something to help me out because where I was at was in a painful place, right? And maybe you're in that place right now too where today you know you don't, you know where you're at today is not where you plan to be, right? In your family life, financially, um, fitness. You know, it's just crept up on you. You've had a, maybe a, a radical life change with a collapse, a marriage collapse, relationship collapse. Maybe you've had a business go bad or you know, you've had been hit financially. So today is your day one. Today is day one compared to the rest of your life, right? And I, for me, had to discover where I was at, point A, and where I actually wanted to be was point B. You know, in 12 months, two years, three years, four years, five years down the road. Because there is a saying which says, if it is to be, it's up to me, right? If it is to be, it's up to you. I was wallowing in my self-pity for a while soon after my marriage collapsed, my business went up in smoke. All happened within weeks of each other in my case. So I was, I took a while to, I don't know, just to try and understand what had happened to me. It took me a while to get my head around the gravity of my situation and how different my world now had become. Maybe you're in that place right now where you're still quite trying to cope with understanding what did happen to you. So. That's okay. I mean, you'll, you will get to a point where sooner or later, you'll have a broad understanding of where you're at and you'll be ready then to take the journey or begin the journey to rebuild your life, to make a mighty comeback. Because the truth is, regardless of what's happened to you in the past, your best days are ahead, right? If your past is more exciting than your future, you're a has-been. Now, don't get offended when I say that. I say it out of a sense of love because I just absolutely believe in you and that you can rebuild your life. Yes, what's happened was unfair. Yes, what's happened was not your fault. Yes, what happened was really, really hurtful and painful. But you know what? I came to a place where I realized I couldn't change any of it. And so, 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 so do you. You need to get to that place where you realize that what is past is past. So we have to Think of it in terms of dragging around that wound, that past, that hurt, that's holding us up from potentially having a life that's bigger, better, more affluential, influential, and confident in who you are as a person than you ever could have dreamed of. That's what your future holds, and I'm believing for that for you. So to get the key to transition to that place is to firstly is to identify Point A is where you're at today. This is day one. Day one for the rest of your life, right? Point B is where you'd like to be. You know, and what do you want? Right now, there's a principle that says what you think about, you bring about. Or if you want to go a little deeper, it's as you think in your heart, so are you. Not think in your head, think in your heart. So in other words, what you're emotionally focused on is what you'll become. It's a universal principle which you can't break. And you're probably proving that principle true in your life right now. 
Because the more you think about the yuck, the more the yuck turns up in your life. The more you think about what you want, the bigger chance, the more chance you'll have of that turning up in your life because the principle works positive or negative. That was what I've learned and that's what you'll discover too if you haven't already. So what is it you do want in your point B? You know where you're at or do you? I had to take stock of where I was at mentally, physically, financially, spiritually and these were key areas in my life that you know I had to really identify where I was at. Not to dwell there but just use it as a start point. Point B was what I wanted for my family, my faith, my fitness, my finance and my fun. You know, these are things that are all related, the five F's I call them, right? So point A is where you're at day one, point B is where you want to be tomorrow, next month, next year, and five years from today. And the distance it takes from point A to point B could be, you know, one year, two years, three years, could be five, could even be 10, or longer, or never, depending on how you get up off the canvas and focus on what you want. You know, so many people, when they've had a kick in the teeth, literally speaking, camp where they're at. And so they become victims of their situation. Even though it wasn't fair, even though they didn't deserve it, even though they're good people. So many times, if we're not willing to focus on what we want, we focus on where we're at in the past, we get more of that turn up in our life and we, only, we're only, we come on this spiral downwards. Don't let that be you, okay? I want to shake you into a new frame of mind, a new way of thinking that will give you the courage to focus on what you want regardless of what's happened to you in the past or where you're at today. Don't worry about how you're going to achieve it, right? The how-to will turn up, I promise. It always does. But you've got to figure out the why-to first because what you think about in your heart, so are you. So what are you emotionally looking forward to in your life, in the five key areas of your life. Maybe, you know, I, I call them the five S. You've got to work it out what it is for you that, that it's important to you, right? You know, for me it was family, uh, my finances, obviously, because that affects everything. Um, fitness, because there's no point being the richest person in the cemetery, right? You've got to be fit and healthy. Uh, what else? Faith. Now you may have a faith life, you may not depending on where you're at, and the fun part of your life. What do you do for fun? What do you like to do for fun? So what do you want in each of these key areas of your world? You know, and where, you at, where are you at in each of these key areas of your world? So these, are, these relate at point A and point B, but defining what you want tomorrow uh, and being really emotionally focused on those desires of what you want to achieve is so critical to you making a mighty comeback. You know, this, this time it takes is up to you. It's up to you and it's a, it's a matter of how much you can focus on what you want because the principles working in your world today right now, what you think about, you bring about. You focus on the yuck, you get more yuck. You focus on what you want, you'll get more of what you want. So do you have the courage to write down what it is you're after? Do you have the courage to actually think about and spend quality time thinking about what your tomorrow will look like? What's your family going to look like tomorrow? You know, what do you want to achieve for your family? What sort of relationships do you want with your people in your world that you love and who love you? Okay. What about your finances? What do you want financially? What's your number? What do you need in your world to attract into your world to get you to a point where you haven't got to worry about money anymore? You can get rid of that. You can have that, achieve that freedom financially in your world. What's your number? Do you know what it is? Have you written it down? Don't worry about the how-to. The how-to will turn up if you know the why-to. Okay. Fitness. You know, how's your fitness? How, how have you, how have you um, um, handled, looked after your physical body, this, this vessel that carries around you in your life? Is it healthy? Is it in tune? Is it tuned up? You know, if you had a fast racehorse that had the potential to win millions of dollars in prize money, would you keep that horse up late at night, feed it pizzas, cigarettes, and alcohol? Or would you give, make sure that horse has got the best nutritional program and training program possible? If you do it for a racehorse, why, won't, why wouldn't you do it for you? <laughs> you're a billion dollar body, and yet you treat it like 
something perhaps that you wouldn't treat a fast racehorse in that way. So think about that. Think about looking after yourself physically because you've only got one body, right? And your faith life. Maybe you know you want to have a, have a deeper spiritual life. Maybe you, you know you maybe you've been hurt by someone of faith. Maybe you've been hurt by someone who has a religious preference that they've said something to you or done something to you. You think, well, everybody of that faith is like that. You've been wounded, uh, and yet, you know, just because you've had one bad experience with one person who I don't know, I've ever had a bad haircut. I've always had. I've had bad haircuts, but you know, generally, if you go to the same hairdresser long enough, you're going to get one bad cut sooner or later, and you're not going to just dump that hairdresser for one bad experience, right? That's how some people treat their faithful life or any area of their life, actually. So, don't think all people of a certain faith are the same. Now, I won't get onto that today, but be free of that, right? If if that's in fact what you want, fun. What about fun? What do you do for fun? What do you like to do for fun? How long has it been since you've had some fun? So these are th things in your world that you need to work out what it is you want to achieve and get a mental picture of what that looks like. And then the vehicle, the vehicle to take you from point A to point B will turn up. And you'll find that you'll have a vehicle for each of these key areas of your life. You'll have a financial vehicle, a, a, fi a family vehicle, a fitness vehicle, and so on. To get you from where you're at today and to where you want to be tomorrow. The vehicle is... When you're looking at the vehicle, right, make sure that you, um, uh, generally it's in the form of a person or a program that you'll take instruction from. If I can just say one thing about that, and that is with these days with social media and you know, YouTube and talking heads like me on this, this sort of platform, there is so much content out there. A lot of it's great. And some of it, to be honest, is absolute rubbish. So be very discerning as to what you listen to, what you hear, what you read, and who you hang around, who you associate with, because those key things can have the capacity to influence your future and influence who you are more than you understand. So what do you want? Do you know what you want? Have you spent the time investing, writing it down, getting emotionally attached to your future? Because what you think about in your heart, so are you. Hey, if you like this video, consider subscribing to the channel. We upload a video about once a week just to encourage you to help you understand that your best days are ahead. That's the truth. Regardless of what you've been through in the past and whose fault it was, you have the potential to have the best future. Your best days are ahead if you are willing to make the transition from where you're at today to where you want to be tomorrow. Spend emotional time thinking about what it is you're after, what it is you want in the important areas of your world. In the descriptions panel below, I've got a couple of free downloads that will help you to this end as well. One of them is my 10 breakthrough steps. These are 10 breakthrough steps that I took to help me fast track my comeback to a point where today, you know, my life, oh, I just can't believe how blessed it's turned out to be in the end. When I was going through the hell though, it was like, I thought, man, this is hell. Today it's like the, the contrast is unbelievably different. And the same will be for you too. So there are 10 breakthrough steps. You apply those to your world. I'm sure they'll add value to your fast track journey, to your comeback. The other free download I have there is my webinar. It's called Comeback Heroes Webinar. Have a watch of that. I'm sure it'll, uh, you'll be able to get some value from that. You can apply to your world today to see your mighty comeback become a reality. So hey, thank you for joining me today. Click on those free downloads and consider subscribing to the channel. And until I see you next time, stay strong and bye for now.